Welcome to our second tutorial on Microsoft Access 2010. This is another basic tutorial. Um, we're only going to cover the general ideas behind queries in this tutorial. We're not really going to real deep uh, queries that you can run, multi queries, that kind of stuff. We're not going into that level of detail, but we will go through a couple of queries that we already have built. Um, from our last video, we have these tables selected that we've already built our relationships for. We have all of our relationships set up. And the original purpose of this database was to have a way to record an employee out sick day. And we have a form that's already been set up where a manager can put an employee's name in, put the out sick date, the current date, and then put a reason why. And once that happens, we have a query that will actually run that will tell the manager the dates between today's date if we select that date and say January 1st and how many times that person was out between those two dates so we're gonna walk through two different queries one's a very basic query and one is a lot more advanced query so if we go to the, w the way we would first create this is if we get out of our relationships tab and we get out of these tables, we would select the table that we want to run a query on. So go to create, query and design, and this is our list to choose from. We have already created these, but we'll walk through a few of them. So what we're wanting to do is select the employee and the date. So say we want to do employee and out sick date. It will show the relationship between these two. Say we're wanting to run a query on employee name and the date they were out. If we run this and test it, there's every time Jane Doe was out every time John Doe was out. Those are the only two employees we have in our table at the time. So that's the basic way your query will work and depending on what you select in here will depend on what comes out of the actual table. In more advanced features there's criteria you can enter here that will filter by date. It will filter by different areas. You can um, You can actually type in bracket saying enter employee and by doing it in this format if you run it it will ask you a question enter employee so we'll enter Jane Doe and what this is doing is giving it a criteria but in, it is a user entered criteria if we hit OK it only gives you the results from Jane Doe and the dates. Now you can also filter by date uh, Microsoft Access has very very in-depth areas you can go into with different codes and different uh, ways to filter and different ways to get to the same answer as well. So the queries that we have to run right now, that's the one that we just looked at. And then we have query dates count to. This is the one that is actually functioning for the program. So if we want to enter employee name Jane Doe, today's date, 10 to 2012. And say we wanted to know how many times Jane Doe has not been at work or had an out sick day or anything like that out of our records from January 1, 2012. She's been out on these dates. And the way this query was set up, if we go to design view, you can see all the details on where these came from. So we actually did a double query here where you took query dates count one, which is the original one we had just created. And in design view this one looks like this. This is the same one we just created a few minutes ago. So by taking this one we run another query on it. So if we go back to this one, we run a query on the query we already created. And we create these criteria. So between, this is how we ask the questions and the criteria to actually get to uh, the answer we're looking for. Between, this is the, 
criteria, but we want it to be a user-defined criteria. So we enter today's date. That's the note that you're actually sending to the person. And to show you how this would work, you could put, you know, we can put a whole bunch of C's across there and test it, and it'll do the same thing. There's the C's. So whatever you put in there is going to come out in the message. We did the same thing for our employee name. So you can do it that way as well. Other options you have um, that you can go by, you can do the sort. You can also select which ones that you want to be shown. I mean, you can have all sorts of information across here. You can select which ones you want to be shown. By selecting parameters, that is not the right one. By selecting totals, you can group it by some average. You, you can use all different ones of these that help to filter, help to create equations that would get you to the correct information. I mean, you can go into as much depth as possible. If, if you have an entire business running off one database, you can set up a set of queries that will overall calculate your account receivable. You can calculate your entire income statement and balance sheet in one click according to whatever you query out of this information, depending on how elaborate your database is, of course. So basically, as long as your relationships are set up and your information is set up, you can query however you are wanting to pull out the information. So whatever question you have out of the information, it's very possible to get. Uh, in later videos, we'll go into much greater depth into other things you can do with queries, other features of Microsoft Access 2010, and um, in our next video we'll cover basic forms and maybe basic reports. Uh, I hope you liked our video and hope it helped, and if you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to our page.